What if I told you that the next time you apply for a job or get a loan or even see an ad, it might be an algorithm deciding your fate and it may not be fair. You walk into the doctor's office, your heart racing with fear about a serious health concern. You explain your symptoms, expecting a thorough examination. But instead of a doctor making the decision, an artificial intelligence system flags your case as low risk. This means no further tests, no follow-up, no treatment. Days later, your condition worsens. And only then do you realize that the AI was wrong because it was never trained on cases like yours. This isn't fiction. It isn't hypothetical. It's the reality of what happens when AI is trained on non-diverse, incomplete data. As a senior software engineer specializing in predictive analytics, I've learned how AI make decisions. And one thing I've learned from my studies and experience is that data should be representative of the population, meaning everyone. Otherwise, as my instructor, Dr. Mohammed Shaheen, would always say, it's no good. Assumptions about identity are not valid data. Bias in AI is more than just a technical issue. It's a human issue. And sometimes that issue decides who gets life-saving care. Let me tell you about Brian Sinclair. He was an indigenous man who went to a hospital in Winnipeg. It was assumed that he was drunk, that he was sleeping it off. So for 34 hours, he waited and waited in the ER. And then, tragically, he died alone, unseen. Assumptions about identity and addiction are not valid data. But AI doesn't know that. AI doesn't question our assumptions and incomplete data. It only learns what we give it. This is the type of data going into AI. And when we give it this data, it begins to learn and starts writing the rules. Every decision it makes after that is based on those rules. The assumptions are baked in. So what happens when a system like this prioritizes or doesn't prioritize who gets life-saving care. Let's take a step back. I've used the word AI a couple of times already now. So what is AI really? AI is a system that mimics human intelligence. For example, recognizing speech, learning patterns, making classifications, and how does it learn to do that? In simplified terms, AI learns the way a child does, like similar. So first, you show a child the picture of a cat and you say, look, baby, this is a cat. You do the same for dogs, birds, and more. Over time, the child begins to identify patterns. For example, cats have pointy whiskers and ears, while dogs have floppy ears and wagging tails. 
eventually, with lots of examples and gentle corrections, the child learns to identify a cat from a dog, even in photos they had never seen before. But AI isn't just learning about cats and dogs. It's learning about everything, and that includes us. Everyone here knows someone who has different understandings of the world. And why is that? It's because their learnings and experiences were different. AI is the same. We feed AI huge amounts of data, images, texts, sounds, documents, and we say things like, this is a loan applicant. This is a high-risk patient. The AI takes this data and fine-tunes its internal brain in order to make predictions. So, just as a child learns to identify a cat from a dog, AI learns to classify, to predict, and then to generate new data based on the examples it's been given. So far, this doesn't sound bad, right? Now, let's introduce bias to the training. When we hear the word bias, most of us say, oh, no, I'm not biased. I'm fair. I'm neutral. I hear you. We're going to have a quick experiment right now. How many of you prefer strawberry ice pops? Chocolates? Perhaps your flavor is not even on this screen. Perhaps you're more of a savory than sweet person. Maybe you prefer pizza. Who here prefers pizza? Your preference is a bias. Bias doesn't necessarily mean negativity. It just means that we lean to a certain direction. Bias manifests in our preferences and influences prejudice. No one is truly neutral, especially not when it comes to ethics. Bias exists in our cultures, in our histories, in our institutions, and yes, in our decision. AI doesn't learn in a vacuum. It learns from us. And we're not perfect. Even though we cannot entirely eliminate bias due to our inherent differences, it's important to identify, to recognize, and to actively address these biases in both our personal and professional lives. Today, AI is measured for how well it plays chess or solves maths or even writes code. But tell me this, what measures how fair AI is? In 2018, Amazon discarded an applicant's tracking system because it's penalized resumes that had the word women. For example, women's chess club captain. This exclusion didn't happen because they didn't have the right skills or capability or maybe because Amazon didn't want to hire women. No. This was because the model was trained on a 10-year period of data where male applicants had the most resumes. Therefore, it learns to classify male applicants as higher qualified candidates and discriminates against women. Bias in AI is not just in hiring or healthcare. Ongoing studies show that facial recognition systems tend to misidentify African and Asian faces significantly more than white faces. 
this isn't just an accuracy issue. This is a civil rights issue. Now, take for example a high stakes decision like uh, the policing department or the airport security. Billion Bronx, say one out of three times for some people, but nearly perfect for others. Well, you don't need to imagine because it's already happening. Bias is in voice assistance that misunderstands speakers like me nearly twice as often as white speakers with error rates as high as 35%. It's in insurance algorithms that charge higher premiums to certain demographics because it's been trained on biased risk model. For example, let's say the region or the postcode, it learns to identify certain regions as not being able to meet up with insurance, so it charges them higher, even though it's not able to differentiate case by case. I could go on. This and more affects us all. While some of these may not have been intentional at first, but Bias in, bias out. This and similar practices affects us all. Bias in AI doesn't stop at reflecting the existing inequalities. It amplifies them faster and with far-reaching consequences, and it pushes them into the future. AI is shaping major decisions, whether we use AI or not. That means biased systems are shaping our lives and deciding our future. Whose responsibility is it to fix this? It's not just us engineers. It's business leaders, policy makers, educators, designers, and you. The question is no longer can we build better systems, but it is will we choose to? If we are prepared to meet this moment in our history, here is what we need to do. If you work in tech, question your data. Does it represent the entire world? or just parts of it. Build diverse teams that are able to recognize and identify what others might miss out. If you lead teams, don't just deploy AI. Set ethical guidelines, audit for bias, make fairness a performance metrics. If you are a consumer, be curious, be skeptical. Ask questions. Hey, co-pilots, what are your sources? Hey, ChatGPT, who gave you this information? Hey, DeepSeek, where did you get this topic from? Sure, a lot of these models now show citations and their reasonings, and that's progress. But transparency should be standard, not just a nice to have. Because fairness isn't just a feature, it's a responsibility. AI cannot and should not be trained on a single story. It can and must be trained to work for all of us, not just some of us, to be human, is to be biased. But with intentionality and effort, we can build AI as a tool for fairness, not just convenience. Well, AI don't hate, they don't love either. They don't care unless we make them care. Artificial intelligence is no longer a concept of the future. It is 
here. So, I'm going to leave you with one question today. What story will you teach AI? Thank you.